Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Maggie. And for today's video, I am ready for fall. I can't wait for fall to come. I'm done with the sweat. I'm done with the heat. So I decided if I can go ahead and create a fall look for you guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. Back of my mind, streak of black, left alone. Okay, so we have done our other eye. We're gonna start with the other one with a tart shape in light medium. And we're just gonna go ahead and put it on the eyelids. I haven't put anything on my face yet. So I'm just gonna put it on my, my eyelids. And I'm not gonna put any powder on it because I want the colors to stick on my eyes. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start with our BH Cosmetics, and this is the Ultimate Matte uh, 42 Shadow Palette. So, very affordable, and I really love the colors that's in this palette. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our Morphe 321, and this is this brush, okay, kinda like pointy at the end. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend this uh, color and this color together, so we're just gonna go ahead and do that. There's a lot of fall-offs, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, clean that shortly. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and put it around our crease. And I'm not kind of like in a blending motion. What I'm doing is I'm kind of tapping it because I want to get more color out of it. So instead of it having a lot of fall-offs, it's not gonna because we're gonna go ahead and we are kind of just tapping the color. All right, so after doing that, we're gonna go ahead and jump into a different palette, which is another BH Cosmetics, and it is called uh, Summer in Saint Tropez. This is a 16 color shadow palette, and we're gonna go ahead and just jump into this beautiful orange over here, which is called the Jet Set. And I'm glad that there's a name to call it because I don't know what they're gonna be called. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put it above this color. And we're doing the same motion again. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my BH Cosmetics over here and I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this color. This beautiful orange, there's no name on that, but it's very beautiful color as you can see. And then we're gonna go ahead and just put it above the Jet Set. Okay, and with this brush, we're gonna go ahead and grab this yellow over here. This is kind of like to uh, blend it out. So this is the brush that we're going to use, okay? And just we tap the excess to kind of like blend it lightly on top of that orange color we have. All right, so after that, we're gonna go ahead and start cutting the crease. So we're gonna do a half crease on this one. And I am going to, again, use my tart shape in light medium. And the reason why we always wanna use a light concealer uh, on our eyelids so that we can intensify the colors that we need. Okay, so I'm using a very flat brush over here. And we're gonna go ahead and start cutting the crease, okay? All right, so we've already cut the crease. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab a makeup remover. You can use whichever. I usually wrap it on my my fingers. 
and I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the the color the inner color over there and the reason why is because if we try to go ahead and put concealer on it it's just gonna change the color and it's not gonna be very very clean so we're gonna go ahead and just kind of wipe out the excess kind of color that way it's easier for us to clean it out see you have to clean out the the uh, dark color because otherwise if we kind of like just cover it up it's not it's not gonna be so clean so all right I think I've cleaned that enough let me go ahead and dry it up a little bit all right so I'm gonna be using a very tiny brush which is the M326 I'm very comfortable using it the way it is and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go back to our big palette over here which is our BH cosmetics and we're gonna go ahead and again mix this color and mix this color all right, and we're gonna go ahead and just follow the crease. We're gonna put it over here. All right, so after doing that, I am gonna go ahead and grab again our Tarte Shape in light medium, and I'm going to get my flat brush for the cutting of the crease, and we're just gonna go ahead and put it on our half crease over here. Okay, so we've cut the crease. I'm gonna start with the outer V and uh, start with a darker color again, which is this color and that color. So we're mixing it up again, same thing. And we're gonna go ahead and work our way in. All right, so after that, I'm gonna go ahead and just transition it with the Jet Set over here. And as you can see, it's probably harsh, but we're gonna go ahead and blend it shortly. And after that, I'm going to go ahead and grab our last color for the upper lid, which is this yellow again. And we're just going to go ahead and put it on the, um, the, the corner, the space over here. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and just add a shimmer, which is the paradise. And we're just going to put it on top of the yellow color that we did put. Okay, I'm just gonna use a flat brush. The reason why we're using a lot of flat brushes, there's a lot of pa packing and tapping. All right, so I've already put moisturizer on my face. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just spray a little bit of the Make It Last. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab our Morphe foundation, which is going to be the F3.60. And I'm gonna go ahead and just grab my blending brush over here by Real Techniques. It's the RT200. Okay, and we're just gonna go ahead and put it like that. And then we're just gonna blend it. Put it on our face and blend it. doing that I'm just gonna go ahead and get my beauty blender and then just blend it so that it'll be even then using our Tarte Shape Light Medium we're gonna go ahead and put concealer Of course, let's not forget our... There you go.
Okay, and I'm using my loose powder, my favorite airspun. It smells good as well, and it's a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit, and I'm just gonna go ahead and set the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up with the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and use our NYX Liquid Epic uh, Ink Eyeliner. Okay, so I've already done my wing liner. I'm gonna go ahead and go down to our waterline and we're gonna start with, of course, the darkest color that we've used first, which is this one and this one. We're gonna mix that together. And I'm using my Morphe M321, which is this brush. Okay, and after that color, we're gonna go ahead and go to our Summer and Tropez. And we're gonna go ahead and get the Jet Set. Again, to touch base with that kind of orange end of the day color. <laughs> And we're going to go ahead and just put it over here. All right, going back to our yellow, we're going to go ahead and just put it on our inner corner, which is we're going to use our Morphe 326 and just going to put it over here. We're going to go ahead and go back to the Paradise for the Summer in Saint Tropez. Um, palette got the same brush that we use to put the shimmer so we're just gonna put the shimmer over there all right so before I even go ahead and put mascara on my lashes I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little um, brown eyeliner and you could use whichever eyeliner I have um, color mates eyeliner and this is a black brown color and I'm just gonna put it under uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and put mascara on my eyelashes before we even put our falsies okay so I've already put my mascara I'm gonna leave it like that for now we're going to go ahead and brush off the powder on our face because we want to go ahead and contour. So we're brushing it off. I'm going to brush it with this. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start contouring. We're go I'm going to use my Jet Set, which I was able to use on my last video, which is the contour palette. I like this palette. And we're just going to put it over here. Okay, and after that, we're going to go ahead and just blend it out. Okay, and for our highlighter, this is my first time to use the Revolution Luminous Gold Liquid Highlighter. Hmm, I am not so sure even how to use it, so maybe maybe i get a little brush <laughs> i don't even know how to use it and i'm just gonna go ahead and just dab a little bit all right okay then just put it over here i think that that's what you need to do is to kind of dab it okay i mean Looks awesome. And you dab it. Okay. 
I'm not used of the um, liquid highlighter, so it's kind of weird. I mean, it looks good. It looks cute. Okay, I'm not okay with that. I'm having a hard time with the liquid one, so I'm just going to go ahead and go back to the Summer in Tropez. And um, we're going to jump into the Marina color. I'm just going to grab a little bit. And just okay. Now that's better. I love the illusion. <laughs> and then we're just gonna, I'm really not a big fan of contouring the nose. I'm just gonna go ahead and just put a little bit. Cause I'm not really a big fan of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows and my lashes off camera. Just Okay, I'm done with my eyeliner and my lashes. I'm going to go ahead and just jump into the lippy. And uh, for this look, I wanted to go ahead and have a subtle lips because we already got a popping eye already. And if you've seen my last video, I was using the Alluring Matte Color Lipstick, which is this lipstick palette over here I got from 99 cent store. Um, I really want to try the other ones. I haven't tried the other ones, so... With the uh, brush over here, I'm gonna go ahead and um, go to this color over here, the second color. Let's see, it's not a matte color, it's not matte, just to let you know that this lipstick is not matte. Okay. It's pretty light and very subtle. Um, we're, I'm going to go ahead and go to my um, Victoria's Secret Extreme Plumper. And we're going to put it on the, um, the brush. So what do you guys think of our video for today? I do hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you have thoughts and comments, please do sound it down below. And if you have not subscribed to my channel or you're new here, please do hit that subscribe button and of course that little bell beside it so you'll be notified when new videos come in. Until my next video, I really enjoyed my time with you guys today and I hope you did enjoy your time as well. I will see you again soon. Bye!